right, everybody, this is Shake and Bake. I'm back on the long dark, and I'm probably having my best round right now. I'm at five days, 16 hours. Uh, my bars are all looking good there. Um, Food-wise, I got a lot of venison, as you can see, and a lot of water. So I've really been focusing on uh, having cooked meat on me and water, and I've been eating the other stuff as I go and just saving that stuff. So I'm going to head up in this video. I'm going to head out back to the camp office. Let's see what we run into. Uh, I'm also going to just chat some more about the game because uh, now I've got more hours under my belt in playing it, learned some more things. And I'll tell you what, um, this game, what I really, really like about it, let me get my rifle out here, guys, is I've got eight bullets left. What I really like is... Um, you know, you get to know the map, you're out exploring, but every time you go out, just when you think you got it, like right now I'm feeling fat and happy, you know, I got all this food and water, I mean, all of a sudden this storm can come up, or you're surrounded by uh, wolves, whatever, and uh, you start to panic, like, you know, am I, am I going to am I gonna lose it? Am I not going to make it back to shelter? Am I going to get killed here? And so this panic sets in, and, and, you know, kind of simulates what you might feel like if you were really out there alone trying to survive in this brutal wilderness. All right, I'm heading, I saw a deer up here. One thing I found out, really what I tried to focus on, is uh, water and meat. Getting that stuff cooked up, you know, having uh, storages of it. And then obviously getting some clothes that are in good repair. Now, when you start to see these birds, yeah, maybe you already figured this out, but just so you know, when you when you see these birds, these vultures, that usually means um, there is uh, something that needs to be searched, a dead body. I have enough meat. I already searched him. All right, let's head up here. Must have been already those bodies I searched. Um, it'll be interesting to see what update comes out next for the Long Dark, uh, whether that's the uh, story mode or where they expand this sandbox to even make the world bigger. Uh, because once you've played it over and over again, I mean, you, it, uh, the map is its actually not that big. Um it does not take long to uh, learn the map. Uh, I know on Steam right now there's a forum thread where you actually can access a copy of the map, and uh, which definitely is helpful uh, if you're looking for that kind of help. And um, But again, even though I've, I've, I know the map, I know where to go, um, uh, you know, finding things, there, I tell you, there's still moments where I've been out with all of this stuff, and boom, uh, out of nowhere comes a snowstorm, a blizzard, a couple wolves, and now I'm panicking, thinking, am I about to lose everything that I worked so hard for? Let's uh, let's eat something here. Like I said, all right, it's heard a wolf. Sounds like a couple wolves, actually. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Yeah, I'll take that. And what I'll normally do when I find stuff like that, right? Oh, nice. We definitely want that. Is I'll quickly now drink that water. Always trying to use the stuff I find to lower my weight and stay full, though, you know, and, and not thirsty um, by not tapping into my reserves here too much. All right, so if you're new to this game, I mean, definitely there is a learning curve. It, it does take a while to, to figure out, you know, how much uh, do you spend indoors? How much a risk do you take to go to the next location? Um, where, do you, where can you find things? It's all randomly generated and spawned, you know, so it does change up a bit. But there are some places that you're going to find more than others. Um, how do you avoid these wolves? Because I tell you what, I mostly just try to avoid the wolves. And then... Um, 
it almost is a, a mathematical type game because as you uh, spend time inside a structure and you're deciding whether to sleep, rest, uh, go out and forage, with every action, there's another reaction. So whether that's losing calories, um, losing resources, all of these things are happening as you choose an action. So you're really sitting there after a while having to figure out, okay, if I sleep this long, how much am I going to lose? How much energy will I have to spend now to gather the stuff? So it gets pretty intricate if you really pay attention to that stuff. Um, now we're at the camp office. Let's just see how we're doing. We're cold, so we're going to go inside here to the... I made it to where I was going. Put away my weapon here. Let's just see how we're doing. What time of the day is it? I always like to look to see what time of the day it is. What we're going to do is just take a little nap here. I like to take these like one hour power naps. Kind of warms you up. Keeps you rested. So we should be... Yeah, we're looking good there. I'm a little hungry. So the venison definitely is going to fill you up. Actually, I'm going to go out right now. I'm going to shoot a deer. So let's, uh, let's the good spot. You, you start to learn where the deer are. And I know out in this lake out here, there's going to be some deer. But back to the future updates of this game. I think they're going to have to come out with something soon. Um, because the sandbox, the way it is now, can only keep you entertained for so long. You know, it's really fun and all that. And there's a challenge to go as long as you can go. Um... You do get steam badges for, I think, five. I got the five-day one. There's 10-day, and then there's, like, 20, and then there's, like, 50. And there's some crazy... Some people have gone that long. I mean, I definitely... long as I've reached is five days, I'm hoping to get the 10-day badge out of this run right here. Just looking for... Um, there's a deer right over here. Let's see if we can get this deer. I'll skin this deer and go back, and I'll basically I'll spend the rest of the time in that office cooking up... Uh, that venison and, and just again if I have to I'll store some of the stuff in the office there's uh, storage areas you can store food but as far as next coming out I, I don't again I, I'd love to hold on shit got him so my now the one thing I didn't do before see how my weapons degraded to 77 percent uh, it's important um, to fix your weapon because at some point I shot it uh, last time I was playing and the whole weapon exploded and I lost the rifle. So you definitely... Um, I'm going to try to get as much as this I can carry. All right, let's see uh, how am I looking as far as my weight goes. I'm pretty heavy. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... just That's enough for right now. I'm going to head back now. Uh, see, I know these other cabins over here. That while they have may, may have resources, they don't have a stove in them. So somebody's got to go. Let's. Uh, what we'll do is uh, eat a little bit here. Uh, get our calories back up. Uh, help with the weight a little bit. And it looks like um, I need to take some antibox. I did get something from the meat. Come in here to first aid, and I'll need to go back and get mm. some rest. So I got a pretty good ways to drink some water here. That'll help with the weight. I'm thirsty anyway, so it helps with the weight. I just heard something. I'm hoping that's not like a wolf coming. So it's the only thing about when you're doing this, you know, you can't look around. It sounds like that's the ice. Okay, so see now how quick the weather <laughs> just changed on me. I don't like that. And uh, I'm cold. My fatigue is going up. Part of that is because I'm overweighted. Um, I've spent a lot of time out here harvesting that deer. So, again, like I was saying earlier, I mean, I just went out from the office for this quick jaunt to get a deer. Uh, and, but how quickly things can turn. And now I'm wondering, you know, am I going to make it back? Am I going to lose again? Am I not going to make it to the sixth day? Um, and then this is where that challenge See, I'm a little bit misorientated right now. Let's see. I think I am heading the right direction here. Let me just check. I am cold, 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 cold. I got to get back to this office. My condition's going uh, down to 96%. I mean, all of that will be saved here once I get to this office. And man, I really hope I'm heading the right direction. I think I am. But th <laughs> this is a great example of, 
you can get misoriented so fast in this game. I'm at 95%. Alright, there's the office right there. I do love when they do have the sound clips that come in. I love the music. I love to see more of that, hear more of that at some point as the game develops. I think it really adds to the ambiance of the game. All right, so back in. We're going to take care of this meat. If I can drop any of this gear. And he is overloaded, um, but that's going to be fixed here in a second when I get back to the stove. Let's get this baby start, fired up. I got some accelerant. It's going to help start that fire. There's a chance that you may not start the fire. So we got that going. We're fatigued. We're cold. We're going to warm up now. Uh, but the main thing now is I need to get this. Um, I don't have much wood. I'm going to start cooking, though. The venison. I got plenty of water. So right now, all I'm going to do now is spend time cooking this uh, meat here. And then after that, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm just going to be watching my condition at the bottom right there. Getting a lot, a lot of protein and food out of this right here. Normally, I'd make some water at this point, but I, I have plenty of water. I don't need to do that. I'm just going to keep cooking here. See, let's just real quick check our condition. So really, we're just tired. We're tired. Uh, that's the main issue, which I'll fix with a good sleep. Keep cooking some venison here. So I got plenty of food. I mean, it really is going to come down to just surviving the weather and um, watching out for wolves. I should be able to make it to the 10 days. And I do like how you don't have to play straight in this game. You can save it as long as you're alive. You can you can join back in where you left off. I'm gonna need some first aid soon. Okay, so now we're, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna check everything out here. Let's eat some venison real quick. Hopefully we don't get sick from it. And now we're gonna sleep. And here we go. Ten hours is gonna take care of that issue. Okay, so that's it. It's obviously I'm in the dark now. I don't have my. Um, let's. Uh, we'll turn some light on here. I'll just use up a. I'm so thirsty, I can't think straight. So he's thirsty. I'm gonna have me a drink. I got plenty of that. As you see, I got plenty of food. So good to go. So this chicken bake. This is the long dark. If you like this game. Uh, if you want to see more of it, post in the comments. Cheers, peace, guys. And uh, thanks a lot for the subs and likes. And I'll see you guys in the gaming world.